Okay guys, this is a task for today. We are unloading this big box here with the uh, Seville Classics Ultra HD rolling workbench. Now this workbench has a solid hardwood surface, powder coated steel body, stainless steel push bar on each side. All storage compartments are lockable. Oh, I thought it was only the big one was lockable. Got 11 drawers, four corner bumpers, two door cabinet with full width shelves. And in total it's 77 by 20 inches by 37 and a half inches. Now hopefully when we get done with the workshop it will look something like this. My wife has always wanted a garage that looked like that. See all the cabinets. That remains to be seen. This will be the first one. This is the uh, first one of the installment of the garage. So we got this other big box to unload here. It's filling up the whole back of the vehicle. And this one was really heavy too. So we're going to start the unboxing. Okay guys, so this is how it looks with the second box open. I took the top out, laid it on the first primary box that was uh, box one of two. What came in box one of two was this back frame. So we'll be attaching the back frame to this top board here. Now the hardware kits are all nice, mar nicely marked. Number 42, number 15, you can see, see right on the bag there, there's a number. So number 41, number 27B and number 40, number 17, numbers 18 and 19. And this one here is not, has no numbers on it. So there is the front frame that goes on with some drawers and I imagine the two sides are there. We got some rollers there for the drawers. And then, so we got some faces to the drawers. There's the uh, nice facing. Uh, there's one of the sides. So those are the two sides right there. The sides come with the um, roller bearing door slides already attached, which that is really nice that that part's already done. Now the packaging was really good. You see all the styrofoam over here? Sorry for all the noise guys, but I live in a noisy neighborhood. So it was everything was styrofoam packed up. And when I saw this tear in the box, I thought that the uh, that the front board was damaged because this went all the way through to the board. But thankfully the board was flipped upside down with the good side down. So we are looking good at this point guys i got one other box over here that i haven't opened up yet let's see what's in this box those are the casters
it's been a long tiring day pretty hot here in Florida today it's starting to cool off a little bit this has been my project for the day had to assemble this tool storage work table comes complete with liners storage shelves extra deep drawer over here secondary deep drawer and then a bunch of the small drawers so it came came intact with no scratches the wood's so pretty I really looking at uh, you know who wants to throw the first first uh, object on there and mess it all up so that's kind of what I'm looking at got stainless steel handles polished and then um, like shot peen finish and you got peg holes on the sides if you want to hang things so this is the ultimate HD Seville classic let's see let's see if I can peel off this nice little protective plastic There we go, guys. Ultra HD. Now, does that stand for heavy duty? High dynamic range? Or just high definition? Whatever you want it to be, guys. Whatever you want it to be. You got roller, roller bearing slides. The roller bearing slides, similar to top-notch toolboxes let's see if you can see them there yeah complete roller bearings it's got a 500 pound capacity the drawers snap in real snug it's got all compartments lock you got a lock there a lock there and a lock down here You know, after Ryobi days, I didn't have much place to put those Ryobis. They were sitting all over the garage here. Now I got some tool storage. We can put those Ryobis away. It's been a great day, guys. Catch you on the next one.